little porch. A private deck, miss. This must cost a fortune. No, it does, miss. I don't understand. I'm a little muddled myself, miss. Shouting and crying. Oh, really? I uh, didn't notice. You passed us going up the gangplank. I'm sorry, I bit you. Oh, my shoulders are broad. I am a very healthy tailor. He really isn't crazy. Oh. By the way, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Kinston. Matt Kinston. How'd you do? I'm Alison Kirby. And I'm Jeremy Taylor. wrong, all of it. Wrong? I've never figured out why people think a boat deck is romantic. It's sort of like taking a girl for a ride in an open car, thinking she's enjoying herself. Now, you know no woman can enjoy herself with her hair blowing all over her face. But I like it here. Besides being windy, it's cold. I'm not cold. I, I, I think you are. Now, supposing you would let me kiss you. What chance would I have? I'm trying to make an impression on you, while secretly inside you're shivering. But not the right way. The prosecution rests? No, the prosecution suggests you come with me. The most romantic place in the world. Wait. Swain Palms. Music. And Moonlit Waters. You're very ingenious, Mr. Kinston. Not really, just careful planning. Then I must be equally careful not to upset your planning. Oh, in what way? You obviously brought me here with the intention of making love to me. So, I suppose I must just let you make love to me. I suggest that you kiss me here first, and then here. Well? No, here first, please. Thank you, Mr. Kingston. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. Aren't you going to sit down? Look, I'm not going to play games with you anymore. I'm angry and I'm disgusted. What? I'll give you full credit. It was a very smart act. Very smart. Pretend to be interested in me, but never lose sight of the guy with the money. Okay, I went for it. What are you talking about? I'm talking about a very sweet, innocent girl who isn't interested in money. That's what I'm talking about. Before in my life, but that friend of yours. Easy, easy. Has Matt been talking to you? Talking? Well, he thinks you're interested in me for my money. He what? He thinks you're after me for my money. Why, the insolent, insufferable, loathsome. Oh, I wish I had thought of those. What made him think oh, I no, had wait, any interest wait. in you? And if I had, how could he possibly think I'd be interested in you just because of your money? Well, what more reason did you want? And you went to school with him. Alice. Alice, nobody saw it me. I don't believe any of it. I should think not. Why should I worry about your money? I have plenty of money of my own. I've got so much money, I'm, I'm not quite used to it. I've got so much, I'm vulgar about it. I'm, 
I'm nouveau riche. Come along. Terry, you said I could draw on you for anything I might need. Why, certainly. I want to buy some things in the ship's arcade. Well, you go right ahead. You charge anything you want to me. Thank you. Come along, Jeremy. I'm living the life of a caboose. Very interesting place, isn't it? I didn't know you gambled, Mr. Kinston. Matter of fact, I don't. I, uh, I came out here at night because I found out you were going to be here. I'm here. I'm going to follow some advice you gave me. I won't apologize this time. Did you drive all the way out here just to tell me that? No. I'd like to tell you how lovely you look this evening. I won't do it. You won't do what? Tell you to go ahead and say how lovely I look this evening. It's too easy a victory. Let me up, will you? I'm licked. Well, I'm buying the wine. I'd like to help you drink it. Shall we? Funny how much you can tell about people just by looking at them. Now, take Terry. He looks like a guy that would... He sure does. What do you think you'd be if you didn't have money? What about Dad here? He looks like a guy that's just discovered something. Thank you, Alice. Thank you. Something? What? Your education is incomplete. Oh. Well, you can't pretend to be an expert on George Washington Bridges until you see ours over the Hudson. Then by all means, I must see it. It's a truly lovely George Washington Bridge. Now, why did I have to convince him that she was okay? When I'm the one who should be out there with her. Yeah, or me. No, he's not the man for her. Why, comparatively speaking, he hasn't got a quarter. And no charm. Oh, how can he compete with us? He's a little lucky, but that's all. Absolutely all. And he's certainly no threat. <laughs> he isn't even in the running. <laughs> 